Welcome everyone to episode 2 of the making of my first feature length film, Evil. In this episode we'll be talking about the filming and editing process of the, you know, the first feature length film, Evil. So yeah, let's get started. Yeah, ooh baby, why you looking so smooth baby, I'ma make you my new lady, cause you're making my mind go crazy, yeah, yeah. So filming started for Evil in June 2020 up until October 2020, which was the height of the pandemic. And it actually helped out more than you would think because we started filming in the summer and usually in the summer people go out, you know, travel, uh, spend time doing stuff. You know what I mean? Like they would be out more in the summer, but since it was the height of the pandemic, most people were at home. So in a sense, most of the actors were here. So it, it definitely helped out filming the movie. And of course, you know, I have to work around the actors' schedules because they're not on a contract. I can't com- have them commit 24-7. Well, not 24-7, but more like, you know, 9 to 5 every weekday for the, you know, four months straight. I can't do that. So I had to work around their schedule. And sometimes, you know, when when an actor has to leave for like a week or so, busy for a week, I would film with the other actors, you know? And whenever the actor would come back from, you know, their short trip or whatever they went, I would go back to filming with them as if nothing happened, as if they weren't there, you know what I mean? So it, it's it's a lot of, you know, figuring out who's free, who's not free, and whoever isn't free Make sure someone else is free so I can film their parts. Just so we don't waste days. I, I hate, you know, when there's days where we don't film at all. Um, I'd rather make sure we, that there's someone free that we can film on that day. You know what I mean? Also, since Evil is more dialogue driven, a lot of the scenes are with two people. You know what I mean? Most of the scenes are with two people. Uh, so on set, it would just be those two actors plus me. So three people total on set which made it a lot easier to film, you know, the scenes and make sure everything is going smoothly and at the same time not get distracted as much. So, yeah, we were we were we made sure to move along pretty quickly. And this kind of spills into editing. What I've done with Evil since I want to make sure I have everything, I on like a day that we finished filming, that night I would import the footage from that day and I would edit that scene together. And whatever didn't look right, whatever we were missing, we would shoot it the next day or within the next few days. This helped a lot when it came f- with continuity. It's hard to replicate the same continuity for a scene if we, I, I don't know, go back to it like three months later. It's, it's hard. Actors may look different. The location stuff will look different. So it's... It's easier to do it the next day or within the next few days and get it right. So that's why after every day of filming, I would go through the footage, edit it all together and see what we needed and what we needed to reshoot. That definitely helped a lot. It made continuity, you know, not even a thing we had to worry about. And of course, when we finished filming in October, from October all the way up to the day it released, I was editing the movie, like, perfecting it. That was when I was, you know, working on the cuts, making sure the cut from one shot to the next was perfect, making sure the color correction was good, the audio correction, the music, the uh, whatever visual effects we needed. You know, all of that happened after we finished filming. But all of the scenes were put together, a rough cut, pretty much, was put together the day of filming, if that makes any sense. And yeah, that process for me helped out so much because, again, we would know what we need to reshoot. We would do it. And also, by when it was time to edit fully, like fully concentrate on editing, I pretty much already have a rough cut of the entire movie laid out. All I needed to do now was go in and perfect everything and then add the uh, visual effects, the audio effects, all of that stuff. So it definitely... Uh, Doing that process of filming and then that that night reviewing definitely helped. It helped. It, it's a great tip. So yeah, that was episode two of the making of Evil, where I talked about the filming and editing process. 
Uh, stick around next week for episode three, where I talk about the music. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Have a nice day. Yeah, ooh, baby. Why you looking so smooth, baby? I'ma make you my new lady. Cause you're making my mind go crazy, yeah, yeah.